Assalamu alaikum. This is Sajid. You are watching my YouTube channel and in this video we will discuss Python escape characters. Okay, what are the escape characters? Let's look at it. So, to insert characters that are illegal in a string, use an escape character. So what are illegal in a string? I mean, there can be like, for example, quotes. If we want to show quotes around some, you can say a word in a string, normally we cannot do it, yeah? Because these quotes are actually used to um, make string uh, in Python, yeah? I mean, we need to have double quotes around a text to convert it to a string. So if we put somewhere in the middle, then there is confusion for like, for example, for a compiler. So is it uh, end of a string or it is, uh, these are like double quotes around some word. So to avoid such things, uh, we have something called escape characters. So escape character is a backslash followed by the character you want to insert, yeah? For example, illegal character is a double quote inside a string that is surrounded by double quotes. So here we have this, uh, you know, a one uh, variable, which in which, you know, we have this double additional double quotes around wicking. So what happens if we try to execute this see invalid syntax so this double quote has a problem so how to solve this for this i just said we will use backslash so now if we would backslashes around this weekends it will be fine so let's try this here we come here and put a backslash and again we put a backslash and now if we execute this statement okay uh, what happened yeah now we have defined our um, parameter and if we print this one okay yeah now you see when we print this we have double quotes around wickings so this is what the role of escape characters is in programming languages so and uh, there is this there is not only this uh, like uh, one escape character there are many escape characters here we have a summary of them for example uh, we have single quote so we will use backslash with it for if we have to put backslash uh, the, in the string then we will use double backslash first backslash will indicate that next backslash is actually escape character new line i mean if we have to go to the new line we will use slash n we have carriage return slash r if we want to take a tab we will use slash t if we want to have one backspace, we will have slash P. If we have want to have form feed, we will have slash F. Octal value, slash triple O. Uh, and hex value, slash XHH. So, these are different uh, escape, you know, characters. So uh, let's look at this octal value. This looks a little interesting. See here, we have this uh, this thing, uh, this little code. If we execute it in, sorry. It's not copied. Copy, copy, copy. Okay. See here, this is interesting. We have 
157. These are what? These are actually the octal values of these characters. Which characters? 110 represents capital H, 145 represents E, 154 represents small l, small l, and oh, this is hello, right? So, if we write these numbers without this backslash, this will not understand that we are trying to print out uh, these characters with the help of the octal values. Yeah. Similarly, we have hex value. We can use hex value as well to print out this. So x48, x65. Let's see what's hidden in it. Oh, what happened to my paste? Copy. Okay. Add it paste now it's correct see here this x48 x65 these are representation of these these characters and when we print them it's hello okay so i'll be wrapping up my video here i hope you have understood the concept of escape characters we have seen different examples and next time when you have to uh, print some escape some characters which are illegal in the strings you can use the escape character to solve your problem right so that's all for this video i'll be back with the next one very soon by the time take care bye bye and allah hafiz